Hello. So, let's talk about the upgrades being made to the star in which these dirt bags made unto themselves. Oh, look it. It's Saturn. So, we know this star as CERN. And I did this video on this uh, story not that long, not that long ago, about um, how they're shutting it down because they got, as you can read, bigger and better things planned for it in uh, next year, 2015. And so we're saying, oh, that doesn't sound good, and makes you wonder if they're getting close to uh, opening up the cube, which is the representation of the doorway, as simply put in the video that I just made on the movie The Avengers. The cube represents the doorway to the other side of space. And they take their little toy here, and they smash light until they figure out how to open that thing up. And it's interesting because light is also called C, and so they ram C's. Ram C's, hmm, where have we heard that before? Oh, their favorite Egyptian pharaoh, right? Or one of their favorites, I mean. So, um, anyway, moving on. And, the, and speculation is that the cube is in Antarctica. And I don't know how it all works. I'm just telling you the theories that are out there. Um, the cube is in Antarctica. There's there's lots of different reasons that I've come across, but this is this is personally my favorite. This is a picture, a for real picture, taken by a famous photographer in Antarctica, and you can see the representation of the cube right here, and then the keyhole also, which is basically saying the same thing. So, um, don't know if that's the case, but uh, it sounds like they're really beefing this 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 thing up, and uh, they. This is from them themselves. Let's get into what they're going to do to this thing, how they're going to upgrade it. CERN prepares its long-term future. Particle physics takes the long-term view. Originally conceived in the 1980s, the LH, the Large Hadron Collider, took another 25 years to come into being. This accelerator, which is unlike any other, is just at the start of a program which is expected to run for another 20 years. Even now, as consolidation work aimed at a restart in 2015 continues, Detailed plans are being hatched for a large-scale upgrade to increase luminosity and thereby exploit the LHC to its full potential. The high-luminosity LHC is CERN's number one priority and will increase the number of collisions accumulated in the experiments by a factor of 10 from 2024 onwards. Even though the LHC program is already well-defined for the next two decades, the time has come to look even further ahead so CERN is now initiating an exploratory study for a future long-term project centered on a new generation circular collider with a circumference of 80 to 100 kilometers. A worthy successor to the LHC whose co uh, collision energies will reach 14 TeV. Such an accelerator would allow particle physicists to push back the boundaries of knowledge even further. The future circular colliders program will focus especially on studies for a hadron collider similar to the LHC capable of reaching unprecedented energies in the region of 100 TeV. Um, thank you very much by the way to David Griggs for sending this to me. I'll put this below if you all want to read the rest. So it sounds sick to me. Um, they're beefing this thing up and it just this is just me speaking but nothing but evil can and will come from this. There's no there's no reason for them to be doing stuff like this, but they just these are mad scientists that love to play with their toys, plain and simple. Now, I want to thank another person. I don't know who it is. You know who you are cuz I'm sorry I get so many things, but I, this is this is a an amazing, terrific, I mean, great great find. This is a really great website for all your stuff on your Saturn and a cube. So if you're new to this, just like I am, this is a great, great place to go. And another thing is I get a lot of a lot of messages from people saying that Saturn isn't Satan and they don't know where I'm getting that from. Here is we'll go over this real quickly. There's a lot of really great reasons. There are even more than this. And these, in fact, aren't the are the, the reasons that I learned about Saturn being Satan. These, there, these are just some of the very, very many reasons Saturn has also been associated with Satan for numerous reasons. First, many authors argue that the word Satan is derived from the word Saturn. Second, Saturn is, is associated with the color black as well as Satan. Black is why you got your cops all in their black uniforms, you got the judges all in their black uniforms, because Saturn is the god of law. Third, ancients considered Saturn to be the farthest planet from the sun, the latter being associated with the principle of good. Note that Pluto never was considered a planet. Saturn is consequently the celestial body 
that is the less exposed to the sun's divine light and thus associated with the coldness of the principle of evil. Finally, the great god Pan, the horned deity, represented Saturn in ancient paganism. This half-man, half-goat creature is considered the ancestor of our modern depictions of Satan. So there are some of very many reasons where the whole Saturn is Satan theory comes from. And this is actually where I got the Avengers um, idea to put in the, in, the, in the video that I just did, talking about the keyhole. So I'll put this below. This is really great stuff. There it is again in Transformers. You can go to list all these movies that you can click on, and there's a whole, and there's even more than this. There's all the Harry Potters. I mean, it, this is a really, really great. It's quite frankly, it's kind of a fun website to navigate. So, thank you again to the person who sent this to me. Freaking knocked it out of the park. Great, great stuff. Thank you to all my friends and teammates out there. Appreciate everybody for 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 watching and being open to this stuff. And thanks to all the subs out there. You all are great. So we'll talk to you later. And uh, thanks again for watching.